beloved, my true love, my hunter. I feel like this castle is full of traitors. The only one I can trust anymore is you. What good is it to surround myself with guards and soldiers and those werewolf pets when no one in the moment of need did anything to save me? Ah, you saved me. Oh, my love. You are truly the man I've always dreamed of. Strong, handsome, and loyal. Hmm. But what to do? I have called this place my home for centuries. Hmm. Maybe it's time to start fresh, a new beginning. Hmm. Though I can feel my anger growing, my blood is boiling. Those vermin who swore alliance to me, who made a holy promise to protect me and kill for me. All of them loved me and desired me. Ah, they did everything I asked them to do. But now, I can feel your eyes on me. You're hiding like a bunch of scared baby vampires. Oh, but you should hide. And you should run. <laughs> if you would dare to face me, I would rip your heart out and dance on your ashes. I would love to see all of you burn. To see all of you get what you deserve. The old me would have hunted you all down. One by one, and filled this castle with blood. But now, I am just going to leave you without a leader, without your mistress. And hear this. If you join another vampire house or a clan, I will no. And you can be sure it will be the last stupid mistake you will ever do. <sighs> now, my love, let's leave this place behind us. I know an abandoned manor. We can rest and plan our next move. Oh, my love. How long has it been that we have walked through the forest? Heard the sound of the night. The beautiful and melancholic song of the shadows. Ah, the cold wind howling around us. Ah, the moon and stars to give us their light and blessings. Hmm, too long, my love. Hmm. Mm. 
Ah, uh, I know, my love. It is not over. I know the attack to my castle was only the beginning. <laughs> the council has finally decided to act against me. Mm. Which is something I was waiting for. <sighs> what do I mean? Well, my love, when I have said I wanted to be hmm, part of the Vampire Council, it was not entirely true. Those fools, those pathetic pack of bones. <laughs> I don't want to join them. I want to destroy them. And now, they have given me a good reason to attack them. To kill them. All of them. <laughs> I want to see them suffer. And perish. What is it, my love? Oh, my beloved. You pity them. Would you let them live after what they did? <laughs> ah, what I did. I see. I know, my love. I have done many unspeakable, disgusting, horrible things. I am truly evil and wicked. <laughs> I don't pity them and I am not planning to live the rest of my eternity hiding from them. Though, you still hope there is some good in me. Uh, you should know by now that I am truly rotten to the core. That does not mean that I would not love you, my beloved. I do. <sighs> Hush, my love. Stop it. I won't change my mind. They will all die by my own hand, or yours. There is no other way. After they are all gone, I will be the next vampire queen. There has not been a queen for almost 500 years. Why? Why? Do I want to be a queen? Well, my beloved, when I was a human, I lived in the world where men had all the power. When I turned to be a creature of the night, that power still was in the hands of all the vampires that were older than me. But I learned how to get stronger, how to be deceitful and cunning. I started to make my plans, to dream of an eternity, of pleasure and blood and power. I wanted to just take it all, take anything I wanted. Oh, my love, I know, I know, you wish we could just live peacefully, somewhere, just the two of us, and adore and worship each other to the end of times, 
but I am afraid. It's not that simple. It sounds very sweet, my love. A very lovely dream. But this life we are living is more like a nightmare. And I want to have a bloody great ending for it. <laughs> Me and you sitting next to each other on thrones that we deserve. Me as queen and you, my love, as king. So, what do you say? Should we hunt together, my love?